Hello guys, welcome back to 60 seconds. We are gonna try to survive the nuclear fallout better this time. We made it to, what was it, level or day 24-ish? Uh, most days, 23 days. We're gonna try to beat that this time. And we are gonna go with the apocalypse. And this time, we're gonna try normal. <sighs> Alright, so we better focus on the basics. We got shelter over there. We got food, 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 water. We got map. We want that, the gas mask. There's Timmy, there's her. Grab that. Grab her. Get in the shelter. Get him. Get that. Get that. Get it in the shelter. The gas mask and the map and this and that. Get it in the shelter. Oh, we should probably get Mary Jane. Come on, Mary Jane. Oh, no room. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Grab that then. And one of these. Hurry, 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 hurry. We need to hurry. Get her, grab her. Grab this. What do you mean no room? Oh no, oh no, oh no. This is bad. Grab, 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 grab. Oh. Our supplies are not looking good, guys. Not the best start of all time. But I think we will do what we can. See what kind of shenanigans pops up. We got a decent amount of water, but the food situation is not that great. And we got the map, we don't have any books or anything. Or the first aid, that's gonna be a problem. Almost made it in! Cans are, f are full of... <laughs> the cans are full of shells. The shells are full of cans. And plenty of water. And the best start shelter we've ever seen. We'll ration everything. And we are gonna send someone out into the wilderness. Or should we wait for the radiation to uh, go down a bit, maybe? I think that's gonna help with the sickness. I'm pretty sure Ted came back with the sickness and made everyone sick the last time. So maybe we should wait until like day 5 or 6 before we uh, head out. Nothing is wrong with anyone. We'll ration. We will w won't stop. Let's see. Still irradiated. Let's hope uh, the radiation clears out pretty soon. But we'll stick around. Oh, hello. Wait, can I choose where we want to go on the map? For raids? Is there like a hospital around here? This might be a hospital. Let's go with that. Jane is very thirsty, and Timmy is thirsty. Everyone is thirsty. They thirsty. Grab some water. Still irradiated. We'll leave it at that. The trash can is becoming full of empty soup cans, and that unmentionable bucket is overflowing. Both of them are attracting strangely glowing, suspiciously big insect wildlife. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Roaches weren't that big before the war, were they? Bug spray! We won't have a infestation here. Not today. Oh, the bug spray went away after one use. We dodged, we dodged a bullet this time. That is, if the bullet was huge, ha had hairy eight legs and a glowing head. Hopefully we won't have to deal with them again. Pardon me while I drink a sip of water. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Tim is good. Dolores is good. Ted is fine. Ration. Contamination is still strong. I don't want to do any radiation sickness. There has been some radio chatter about airdrops from the military. It's about time. All those taxes had to pay for a crate or two from us, right? For us. Shall we head out to get them? I mean, if we have this, we should be alright. I think. It's
It didn't break. That's a good thing. The airdrop crate we found wasn't exactly huge, but it contained a few supplies that will definitely help us. We were especially, ha especially happy to find some water bottles and food cans. For a minute, we thought it was canned meat, but then we found out it was tomato soup. Our theory, we theory, <laughs> our theory is that this whole country used to run on tomatoes and no one suspected a thing. Everyone is okay. And we are gonna ration. We're almost full with stuff. It looks like the area is still irradiated. We'll keep our patience. We've been busy since we got to the shelter, but there's still much to be done. Like trimming that shrubbery in our yard. That's definitely something we want to do when we get out of here. Happy thoughts. Keep it up. Planning far ahead is usually a good strategy, but for now we should be more interested in our plan for water rationing. Everyone is thirsty again. Can spare a bottle of water for all of you. Radiation is still strong. No, we'll ma ma wait one more day. And we don't have a card the cards. We won't steer away from casinos, gambling dens and the like. So when a man came to our door and told us he used to be a gambler, we were suspicious. He invited us to play a game. He proposed a two water bottle bet in a card game of our choice. Well, if he was a gambler, we would have just lost the water. And why doesn't he bring his own deck? What kind of gambler is that? Is that the radiation going down? Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to set to the kids? We need supplies, but we're not getting them like that. We'd rather s rob someone. We sent that man away. Good riddance. Anyone hungry? No. That's good. Highly radioactive. Damn it. Tim is not doing great. It would be good to talk to him and cheer him up. Sure, why not? Don't want him to snap again and run into the wastes. Even a word or two may be enough to brighten someone's mood. Timmy seems to be better now. Yay! Dolores is hungry. So we'll give her some food. We're not certain about the situation at the surface. A trip could be risky. I'll wait one more day. And maybe we can get some answers on the radio about the radiation sickness. Or situation. Hopefully it's uh, subsided a bit so we can head out with big without getting sick. We were able to get a weak signal, and great news! The fallout outside is mostly gone. Yay. And Mary Jane is uh, f hungry and thirsty. And everyone is thirsty. I mean, here's what I don't get about these uh, situations. Um, you know, Ted and Mary Jane have quite, a f have quite a lot of energy stored up in their midriffs, so to say. So they should be able to last like at least a week on that. On just reserves. So I don't get if I should... Uh, maybe I should not use the... Let's do that. Let's see what happens. Just one day. We'll risk it one day. Maybe she'll slim down a bit. It seems awfully quiet outside. Maybe it's safe. Maybe it's not. We don't know until we go out. We know it's uh, okay out there. Mary Jane is feeling excellent, so we'll uh, maybe send her out. If there's anyone who can rescue us, it's the government. We have a radio to call them. And we have the map in case they want us to uh, go places. This time. Good news! They ask us to wait longer and await communication. Mary Jane is hungry. And Timmy's hungry, and Ted is hungry. I'll do it. She wasn't hungry, right? I think we're good. Enough sitting around. It's time to visit the surface and look for some additional supplies. Maybe something survived the blast. Maybe someone is still alive. Let's find out. I'll send Mary Jane. 
Now she's had her, her fill of food. Did she bring the gas mask? Yes, she did. That's good. Mary Jane went outside. Tim is being, being very brave. Dolores and Ted are fine. What is that? It seems like a distant rumble, but it's getting louder. And why is everything shaking? Oh god, it's a quake! Grab something and hold on! So I guess if we had all these, we'd have to pick like one item to uh, save. But luckily we only have one right now. Because she brought up the gas mask. That's great. So glad we went out there on that day. With the gas mask. Earthquake or not, we save the radio. Timmy needs a drink. Dolores, everyone needs a drink. We can spare that. There's never been a good time to go out into radioactive wasteland, but it seems this will become a necess necessity in this new world of ours. We thought it would be a good idea to make this happen sooner rather than later and plan a trip outside. Before we could make the first step beyond the shelter doors, an unknown creature started growling at us in darkness. We had only moments to decide what to do. Damn it, we don't have any of those. We had to retreat into the shelter, I guess. In other circumstances, we might have risked battling a beast in the darkness, but for some reason, we felt that was not to our liking, so we screamed and screamed with terror. The creature was probably more afraid of us than we were of it. It left in a hurry. Timmy's hungry, everyone is hungry. You can spare some food for them. We wish we could just leave. Sitting down here with barely anything to do is driving us crazy. Oh yeah, I get it. So we need to rotate who goes out. Because that's probably why Timmy went crazy last time. So we'll send him out once Mary Jane comes back. No news is good news, everyone is good. We don't need to ration anything. This is insane. We keep finding spiders everywhere. They're in our soup. They're in our water. We swear some of them keep coming back. And they are bigger every time we see them. It can't go on like this. It's time to wage war on these spiders. Too bad. You're gonna get eaten by radioactive spiders. She's back? Oh, she broke the mask. You son of a bitch. We decided to get rid of those spiders with our bare hands, feet and whatever body parts we could use for lethal anti-spider attacks. Unfortunately, we've underestimated their chances. They're really fast. All we achieved was getting tired. Maybe we'll have more luck next time. Mary Jane's back! Atomic wastelands are hostile by definition. But there are some creatures that survive everything you throw at them, even nuclear bombs. One of them was a monkey who seemed like it's been through a lot, and yet it was very lively and more than happy to accompany us on our expedition. While we explored one of the streets, our monkey companion ran away, only to come back moments later carrying a can of food. It couldn't open it himself, but it was happy to share it with us. Two cans of soup! At one point during our expedition, the monkey started making weird noises and digging in front of us with a stick. A quick investigation revealed a few bottles of water. No one had even, even tried to open them. The same couldn't be said about those bottles of booze lying next to them. <laughs> one water, the monkey took us just outside of town to what seemed like a hidden bunker. It contains some medical supplies. Plus one medic supplies. And our gas mask is over and done with. Mary Jane needs some food. Timmy, water, Dolores, and Ted water. We're doing pretty well on the soup situation, at least. And we will prepare for Timmy to go out. We were sure we'd looked through our supplies carefully, but Mary Jane spotted something all of, of us missed. A seed! A plant seed! We should plant it to see what happens. But we need a bottle of water for that. Should we use it? Let's do it. Hopefully Timmy will find some water when he goes out on his expedition. Here goes nothing. Soil seeds water. We'll see what happens in a few days time. Let's just hope these seeds don't turn into some useless flower. Jane, Mary Jane seems optimistic enough. Hopefully it doesn't turn into like some sort of zombie mutant uh, flesh eating plant. Mary Jane needs water. Everything else is okay. 
And Tammy's going out before he goes crazy. 